If you're from the old school and you're watching this, you may be scratching your head, but nowadays, pets are people too. So who gets the pets in a divorce? It's hard enough when you're getting divorced and fighting over your kids, your money, your home, and now when pets are involved, emotions run even higher. Let's dig into the truth about pet custody and Georgia divorces, exploring both the legal landscape and some strategies for resolving these disputes. Okay, so what's the law in Georgia on pet custody? Well, legally in Georgia, pets are considered personal property. So that means that unlike child support cases, the courts just view pets as assets that are subject to equitable division. However, despite the legal classification, recent cases have shown a growing recognition of the emotional bond that exists between owners and their pets. And while no specific pet custody laws exist in Georgia, judges may consider factors such as primary caretaking responsibilities, financial contributions to pet care, and the overall well-being of the animal when making these decisions. Now, to avoid leaving the fate of your beloved pet solely in the hands of the court, divorcing couples in Georgia are encouraged to negotiate pet custody agreements outside of the courthouse. In my experience, it's been very rare that I've seen a judge make a decision on pets. Now, I've seen countless judges tell parents where their kids will go and when, but somehow these same people who are at war with each other about their kids, their money and their stuff seem to reach agreement on their pets. What has helped is that the mediation process during the divorce provides a platform for spouses to be able to discuss and decide on arrangements that they consider to be in the best interest of the pet. In a lot of cases I've seen, the pets actually go with the kids, especially for 50-50 plans like week on week off child custody. So I think this is great because the kids and the pets are never separated and then the parents get a break from all the caretaking responsibilities, both for the kids and the pets, all at the same time. But what happens if you can't work it out between you? Well, the judges may consider various factors beyond the legal classification of the pets as property. What do I mean by that? Well, in Georgia, the court may evaluate which spouse provided primary care for the pet. Things such as walking a dog a couple of times a day, taking it for grooming, veterinarian appointments, feeding it, etc. Also, the courts may consider who has the financial means to keep supporting the pet, because unlike kids, there are no pet support payments. And then there's the emotional bond that exists between each spouse and the animal. So while these factors may not determine pet custody outright, they can influence the court's decision. Okay, so how can you be legally proactive about this stuff? Well, uh, prenuptial agreements regarding pets, if you haven't gotten married yet, and postnuptial agreements, if you're already married, these are legal tools that couples can use to lay out who's going to take responsibility for the care and the well-being of the pet during the marriage, and they could also be used to address pet custody concerns in the event of a divorce. So in situations where there is no prenuptial or postnuptial agreement regarding pets, and both spouses share a deep connection with the pet, mediation and co-parenting arrangements can be explored. So in a manner very similar to how child custody arrangements work, a schedule for shared time and responsibilities can be established, which ensures that a pet's well-being remains a priority. And if you're from the old school and you're watching this, you may be scratching your head, but nowadays, pets are people too. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to click subscribe, like, follow, and turn on the alerts so that you'll get notified when we post our newest videos. Please share these videos and leave us some comments, ask us questions, and tell us what other topics you'd like for me to talk about. Join our Facebook group at Georgia Divorce and Custody for even more information. And as always, I look forward to seeing you on the next video.